to Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. I'm too sexy for my love. Too sexy for my love. Love's going to leave. I knew if I just hung in. If I hung in long enough, society would catch up with me. <laughs> I've been rocking the dad bod forever. I've never really been the uh, the worked out guy. If I did, like, I feel like I have the body type that I would be like a beefcake. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You see my legs? I've shown you my mm-hmm. legs. Mm-hmm. I'm wearing shorts now. People are fainting in the hallways. <laughs> Seeing those uh, sexy little uh, uh, the quads. What are they called? Are they? Uh, you got short shorts on? No, not short shorts. Not quads. Quads are up top. Wait, 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 what are these? Calves. Calves. I got the, I got the calves. I got calves people will die for. That said, the reason my legs are so strong is because they have to carry the rest of me. (laughs) New survey by Ask Men reveals that, I guess they asked women, 75% of single women are fans of the dad bod look. Single, that's, wow. May the odds further be in your favor. (laughs) I don't know. I mean, I... Part of me wishes that my husband would just like let yourself go, please. <laughs> please well, let yourself that would, go. If he let himself go, chances are he let other things go, and your son would still have a trampoline. <laughs> Facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is true. A little callback from yesterday, but um, yeah, uh, he he just doesn't have the dad bod. I, I truly wish he did. I truly wish he did, but he doesn't. So is it because is he so is he I so strong that it's like a. He just works out all the time. He's he is super a uh, super motivated human, and it just like he has work workout grind signs everywhere in the garage. Wow. He, yeah, get up, grind, rise, uh, and if grind. you don't do it, yeah, it's it's. It's a, uh, the thing is, it doesn't motivate me at all. It just actually makes me mad. <laughs> like, it actually makes me angry because I don't have that motivation. I don't know why, but I just don't have it. So what do you think this rise of the dad bod is? I don't know because I, I okay, I guess it's terrible for me to say. I hate that he, no, I, I love that he cares so much about his body and it, I just wish it motivated me more to care. Right. Yeah. Um, the dad bod thing, I don't know. I, I I love how how great my husband is. His his body is a temple. Yeah. My body is the temple of Saigon Chinese restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> no, it says fifteen percent of singles are fans of the Ken slash Barbie body type. I don't know. It's it, I think when I see I, I, here's why I think the like the psychology of it is is like you know if if they're willing to be just comfortable in their own skin, we're like yeah, you know what they're not like crazy like. Bruh. But they're just, you know, they're they're dad healthy, ish. Mm-hmm. Uh, at least they're gonna they're not gonna be so like crazed on everything. They can they're chill. They mm-hmm. are able to be chill. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, my husband does not know how to be yeah, chill. Yeah, chill. Yeah, this is. They always say date down, right? Everyone says, date down. <laughs> It's a lot easier. (laughs) See, the Peter principle here. So you went up one rung too high. (laughs) (laughs) Should have dated down. Should have dated down. See, because here's what will happen. is Not not to say that your husband doesn't appreciate appreciate you. I know he does. However, uh, when you have someone, if you date down, like the person that's on the lower rung is like, I got to keep them. (laughs) Oh my God, wow. Yes. I struck struck gold here. (laughs) We're in trouble. Yes. Is there something that like, you know, maybe uh, other people aren't a big fan of, but you have no problem with 702-59. I will never forget this. I was in St. Louis uh, uh, visiting my cousin. My, Patrick and I ha- were together, I don't know, maybe a year. We didn't have Jaden yet. And uh, he texted me. I'll, I'll literally never forget this. He texted me and said, when you get back, can you shave my back? Oh. And when I didn't puke in my mouth, I was like, I'm going to marry him. I'm obviously going to marry this man because I mean, it didn't turn me off yeah. that he asked me to shave his back. So, I, it's better better you than me. I had to shave my dad's back for years. <laughs> well, this is so funny Ugh. you say that. I now still shave his back and and Jaden is 16 so I'm like here's Bro, here are the reins. Here we go. It's on you now. Give him and the mock he three. does not want to do it. So now I'm like giving it to Roman. Okay. Here you go so I can get out of at least give me a couple years off of shaving his back. I'm going to do this the rest of my life. Give me a union break from it. <laughs> there, I just want a union break. So there's actually something I bought. I think it was on Amazon. I'm not sure. Either Amazon or Instagram or whatever the case. But it's like a shaver for your back. And it's this long telescoping thing with a blade that, frankly, you could 
you know, potentially take down a whole bunch of people with. Mm -hmm. And you just reach around and you just, from the bottom yeah, yeah, yeah. to the top, and there it is. See, it's like this uh, big mountain of man hair. Yeah, because, like, what do you do if you don't have a, a significant other or, like, friends? You just, you have to figure it out on your own, I yeah, guess. I've, that's, I've had to figure it out on my own for years. You want to know what a psychopath I am? Oh, boy. I'm such a psychopath. Right, here we go. As soon as he was, like, when he said, okay, can you shave my back? And now, granted, we were together for about a year. And I'm like, well, who was doing it for the last year? You're, this is the first time you're asking me. You always got to be aware, folks. You always got to be on your what, A game. Did, did he have a smooth back yeah, the whole his, time? Uh, no, I mean, his cousin would do it. So, who oh, lives here as well? Co cousins shaving backs. Mm -hmm. Interesting. He needs, he's, he's very, he needs his back shaved a lot. He's a hairy guy. <laughs> So that that was who was shaming it. Well, but stand you know what, though, down, he, stand down, Amy. He, he has a lot more uh, testosterone than I do. So, like, you know, he's going to have a lot more hair. He's uh, super hairy. You know, uh, let's see here. Uh, 788 number says, it's rubbing off on you, Amy. When you had free time, you cleaned and exercised. Go you. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. yeah. That's actually true. I'm getting there. I am getting there. I will get on the treadmill again today. How, how much laundry is on the floor right now? So much. <laughs> so much laundry. You have no idea. It's it's even annoying me. Can you take, you need to take a picture. I don't know how bad it is. Like, it's bad in my room. But. Well, it, it, no, no, I, I'm not allowed to have it on the floor, but it's in different spaces. So it's in laundry baskets throughout the house. Oh. And it's all clean. And I just have to put it away. So. I'm telling you, a billion, multi-billion, quadrillion dollar idea. You find, okay, you get the washer, mm -hmm. you get the dryer. Something you give me the folder. folder. Mm -hmm. You give me the folder. Give me something that just throws it on hangers. Throw it on the hangers. Yes. Yeah, find a way. I went to Closet Factory. They gave me so much space in my closet now. I just have to hang it. I just haven't got around to it because I'm shaving my husband's back. I can't. I have no time <laughs> to put my clothes away. Oh.